Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Dark Souls 3. Last time, we ended up defeating the big dude down where the big dudes are. And today, we got a rapier we're going to try out. This should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I want to check out the very bottom where all the knights are, but I hadn't forgotten that there was an area overlooking... This seems less effective than the broadsword and then the rapier in Dark Souls 2. still gonna use it, but it seems less effective. Okay, I do not want the guy with the axe and the guy with the pole arm to reach me at the same time, so we are going to just wait for the guy with the axe to turn around. Then I'll go down, check out pole arm guy. We also gotta be careful, like lock on is better here, just because of the pokey nature. We're using... All right, I tell you, I do not like the rapier as much as I like the rod sword. Which seems weird to me since last game was all rapier, right? Like, I think from the start to finish, it was almost the only weapon I used. Hey, oh, we just want to recharge. Like, this is bad. Okay, we've made it, though. I definitely cannot go into the giant group of mobs down here with the rapier. It's too pokey, especially when five people come up to get me at once. Like, the rapier is like a one-on-one -on -one combat weapon, and damage seems kind of low, so... I'm going to switch to the broadsword for right now. Hey, buddy. A little bit of R1 spam for you, huh? Ah! So that sucked, right? Last time I came through here, I did one swipe on them and they all died, which is what I thought was going to happen this time. Clearly it's not, and clearly that just sucked. Alright, this guy is still alive. He is not someone... Not someone who disappears. He's also down here, which is weird. What's he swinging at? I have no idea what he was trying to kill. Seems weird. Alright, today I want to go down. Whoa! Okay, he has... ...loosed. Whoa! Is that deserter trousers? Let me take a look. Uh, they look worse in a lot of things, including physical, which is what I care about. This musty, rusted hunk of metal befits one reduced to thievery, which is not me right now. Alright, so I said I'd be headed down here. I'm sad because I'm low on SS. Like, I have two SS left, despite the fact that I really wanted to press through. I 
want to draw him away. Without drawing away everybody. Whoa! Uh-oh. Ooh. Ow! Oh! That hurt. That hurt. He ain't messing around. Ooh. This is going to be hard. I think this is going to be hard. I really wish I had a better way to start down here. But I don't. I mean, I could run through all this stuff, I think, and then sit my butt down. Maybe I'll try that, right? Like... Maybe that is the way to go! We- Oh! It might be the way to go, but because I died... Whoa! Still alive, huh? Uh. Alright, so maybe running through that stuff is the best way to do it. Because I've already gone through it before, I don't care so much if I'm skipping some of it. Alright. So we're starting down here a little more. Oh, they still come up. I was like, maybe... Now they're all dead. It's like, maybe if I go over that way, they won't come up, and we'll be okay. But they did come up, and we weren't. I mean, eventually we were. That's what counts. Okay, there is this guy. That guy's gonna stand up. Fortunately, he does not know what he's doing. I wanted to see if it made sense to drop down here. And I think it does. Right? Now I don't have to worry about, like, four or five knights up there. I can instead deal with these crappy little, uh, unkindled, as I think they're called. I was gonna say hollows. That dude... I gonna say, I can't tell if he's gonna want to fight, but now I can, and he does. All these guys are still headless, which I'm guessing keeps them from coming back. Maybe that's why they're all headless? This guy's going to want to fight, yeah? He did want to fight, but he was a little slow. Okay, so that is the door that I saw before. I don't know why these dudes are all chained. A lot of dead knights around. I'm gonna check out this side. Hold on.
So I crashed, and also I noted that I was muted from when I was told that a present was here for me, as I was saying, though, which you have no idea. Uh, based on the fact that he's Frost, and looking at my status, I have Frost Resistance in Fire and Lightning and Dark. I think, like, there are fewer elements in this game, would be my guess, than previously. Plus, it seems like I can make fire weapons, but I can't make other imbued types of weapons, and I don't know if that's because I don't have the proper um, embers for it, or if they just don't exist. So, resistance is to frost. I mean, my resistance is pretty high, and I think that if I had some sort of fire, then that might be nice, but I don't. As you can see, I have no fire bombs. Those are out. I don't need binoculars. That's not needed. I do have gold pine resin, which I can try, but I I don't have high hopes that that's actually what I need. And then we're going to continue just to try and sprint through this, because I found, like, sprinting was working okay. Whoa! That's the first time that dog followed me down, which is interesting. So if I'm not fast enough, I get attacked by the guy with the axe. And if I'm even faster than that, then I get attacked by the dog. But otherwise, I can make it to this boss with relatively low danger. These guys aren't too scary. And they seem to ignore me for the most part. But this guy, once he stuns me... Like, there's very little souls there, so I don't care about that. Maybe the lock-on is not helping me. Roll!
Whoa, we're gonna stay away. Try and keep an eye. Roll. Oh no. Oh! No, no! Frostbitten, I think that's bad. Whoa, his eyes went blue. Oh gosh, I can't see! Well, I almost had him that time. That time was way better than the last time. It seems that if I am between his legs, he can't get me. Let's try this once more. So yeah, we want to go this way. We're going to hop down here. Hop down here. Head over here. Dog's coming. Nope, not dog. Ah. Got him. I'm not sure what triggers which enemy here. I can tell you that it's fun to be on a boss. Alright. I'm gonna heal, because from here it's a sprint to the boss. I'm gonna throw on my gold pine resin. But I can't use it until I'm in the room. Oh! A little slow, I guess. Yep. We're just gonna, like, roll. Roll! Like, this was a very ineffective use of my time. Alright, let's go. Coming for you, buddy. Roll! Yeah, I saw his fist coming. Ah! Oh! He's kind of like fighting. A giant dog with a mace. You know? He's really angry now. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh! Oh, I'm out. I think I got got by the frostbite. <sighs> okay, I don't think the... I don't think the, um, lightning helped very much. No, you don't, bud. Uh oh. Oh. 
Wasn't this four hits before? I swear that was four hits before. All right, we're not gonna Estus until we're in the room with the boss. That's gonna be a little goal here. Then we're gonna start running here. Because I think that's what I did before when I wasn't getting hit. And we're gonna roll down there. Nice, that was pretty clean. I can also seem to S this safely if I am between this dude's legs. Uh oh. Oh no! Oof. That little dash he does. Sucks for me. Ooh. Whoa. It's hard to keep him in sight here. I'm gonna heal while he's doing this. I'm trying to spam R1. Ooh. But without having a good line of sight on him. Oh, that sucked. I don't want to be in front. Oh! It's really hard. That no! Keep him in sight here. I can't see. Got him. Woo oh, we got him. Air of fire destroyed. I thought that might have meant something when we killed Eudex Gundir. Now I don't know. How is he also an air of fire? Are all the bosses airs of fire? Soul of Boreal Valley. Vort. And we get a bonfire. We're actually going to stop here. But first we're going to check this out. Where's our item for our soul? One of the twisted souls, steeped in strength. <sighs> Vort served as an outrider knight never far from the fleeting dancer. Well, who's the fleeting dancer? Fine work. Praise the hope. And I want to look before I use this bonfire. I should just use the bonfire, but I want to look. Good luck. Peer over cliff. Hold up the banner. Now the real fight begins. Therefore, don't give up hope. We're going to applaud that message. There we go. Wow. You know we're exploring all of that. You know we also have 3,000 souls. Okay. I've lit the bonfire. I've rested at the bonfire. We are stopping here. Triumphant in our victory, because that was the hardest fight we've had so far. Definitely, I think, harder. We can raise the banner. Treasure ahead. What does raising the banner mean? Banner not in inventory. Try rolling. 
What? What is raising the banner? I thought I was going to come here and just raise it, but apparently not. Maybe we get it from defeating the fleeing, the fleeting dancer. Next time we should check out the other path. Now that we have a warp point that is much, much closer to the other path. You see, we also have a big wall. I wonder if this is Lordran in some fashion, right? This doesn't really look like Anne Orlando. Maybe that's Anne Orlando right there. I don't know. If so, I mean, the scale of things has changed and the distance between things has changed. I wonder because we had Firelink Shrine. I end up wondering if Firelink Shrine is the Firelink Shrine or if there are many Firelink Shrines. Who actually knows? Maybe Firelink Shrine is more of a title than a place. Anyways, we did it. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more Dark Souls 3, feel free to subscribe. Plus, it helps the channel quite a bit. You can share the video. You can comment on the video. I love talking to people in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.